Dr. Fauci, American citizens, uh, some of them have lost their businesses because of lockdowns imposed due to the virus, um, and who've been told for a year they can't go to church, can't go to work, can't go to school, can't go to a loved one's funeral, um, can't go to their United States Capitol to petition their government, and if they dare speak anything that's contrary to what you've said or CDC has said, they get censored as evidenced by the governor from our third largest state just last week uh, facing that, that situation. Um, all the while, as the ranking member, Mr. Scalise, has pointed out, migrants enter the country illegally from 60 different countries. They are processed, put on a plane, paid for by the American taxpayers without getting tested, flown somewhere or bus somewhere in, in, in the country. Um, it just doesn't hardly seem fair. And so I'll go back to the question I asked the first round. Can you give us a specific measurement that will have to be attained, some outcome, some result that we have to reach so that Americans know they're going to get their liberties back um, and be able to move on with their lives? You're asking for a number. If I have a number, it would have to be my best estimate. And that would be that the number of infections per day are well below 10,000 per day. At that point and up to that point, there would be a gradual pulling back of some of the restrictions you are talking about, particularly when people are vaccinated more and more, because it is a combination of if you are vaccinated, you are protecting yourself for sure, and the more people that get vaccinated in the community, well, 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 the lower the level of infection will be. I understand. Be. I understand. Well, give us an idea. I mean, you, look, you have given us thoughts on all kinds of subjects. You have opined on all kinds of issues. Give us your best guess, then. I just did. No, you didn't. You didn't give us a time. What, when do you think this is going to be doing? Are we going to be here two years from now wearing masks? No, I, I don't. Jordan asking I Dr. Don't. Fauci the same question? Well, let, let me, let me answer. You are ranting again. Let me no, just. I am not ranting. Yes, you are. No, I, I, here's how it works, Dr. Fauci. Right. I get to ask you the question. You're the highest paid official in the United States government. You've given us your advice on baseball, on dating apps, on cruise ships. You told us zero masks, one mask, two masks, now back to one mask. I'm just asking you, when is it going to end? You can say I'm ranting. I'm actually asking the question that the citizens I get the privilege of representing, and my name actually goes on a ballot. I don't think your name's ever been on a ballot. My name goes on a ballot. The citizens I represent want to know the answer to when they can get their liberties back. You, know, you can call I that ranting. I actually call it standing up for the Constitution, which I take an oath to uphold, Dr. Fauci, every year, every term that I serve in this Congress representing the folks in the 4th District of Ohio. So it is not ranting. It is defending the First Amendment. Bye, Jerry. And we'd like an answer, or your best guess, since yeah. you've got an answer for everything else. <laughs>